Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's happening. You need a table? You just fold the seat? Down. No, no, I know. It was just digging into the door. Oh. Pull the bulb out. Okay, and then you just squeeze it and push it through. No, it, it turns. Hold on, let me get in. Alright. You got it? Yep. Alright, can you disconnect that whole harness over there? What is that? Is there a connection somewhere for that? Nope. Seriously, if you come down, there's not one. Yeah. I was say, yeah. That's why I was like, we're Alright, good. <laughs> You're like, nope. I'm like, mm, sure. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, sorry about the wind noise, but it's it's windy and cold. Are we doing something wrong? I was gonna say, you guys okay? Easy now. I really hope these doors fit. <laughs> Not that big. Um, go ahead and see if you can wiggle that so this whole thing to come out. Okay, can we get that fitting to come through? No, no, we're, we're caught on the fitting. Right? You're caught on the hose clamp. Well, okay. Here, will that help? Or if I went to the other side, would that help? We're clear. Hold on. Digging in here. It should be loose. I was wondering why this thing's bouncing, but. Alright, is that hose gonna go through there? I got you. Alright, you're through. Oh, go, 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 you're leaking. You're, you're good, you're leaking outside now. I want to tilt it back so it drips, so it leaks out now the other way, or do that. It did for a second. That's why I was like, well, "Hold on." No, you can't get to it. The the back corner over there because we can't run the seat forward. So, like on this side, we had to take the nuts out of the track. So we can get the we can get three out of the four out, and then the last one becomes a problem. Um, and the problem was we couldn't figure out how to how. What plug? Yeah, which and which one is the one that goes to that motor? Yeah, unless you blow up the motor, which I do not want to do. Can you see that light? Yeah, I'm gonna start picking up hardware to put in the box. Um, 
a hole in the top for the ground and then in the back side. It doesn't really matter because we got to go one way or the other. All right, can you hold the battery? Because I can't do. Okay, so this is the positive. So I want to watch where I go with that. It's okay. Okay. That wasn't bad. You can get to those two. Yep. Uh, it's on the soup soup on the other side over there. Or it's next to the zoop zoop on the thing. We broke the. Uh, it's right next to it, right there. You're hit touching it. Right there. Yeah, grab the zoop zoop too. Because we got to go underneath and hold an 18 on there because we broke the fuck. We were trying to break the nut loose from the bottom. That didn't work out. But, well, we did get the nut broke loose, but you got to do it from the back. You should be able to. Ready? Okay. Push lock snap thingy on here. Oh, on that one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh. Bye bye. All right, I need you to come hold the battery battery again so I can run this the opposite way. Oh, shit. You okay? Yeah. Trip over some shite. Oh, some stuff there. Hold up, hold up. Look, get that one down in there. There we go. On the okay, fuck me, this thing is heavy. <laughs> All right, right here is great. Yeah. Ow, that was on my foot. Oh. Yo, that actually works. We might have to. Uh, We need to, we're, we're gonna keep that out. We'll put rollers on it. Yeah. That's a perfect little shop chair. Cause you can lean back on it pretty decently, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're putting rollers on that. That's gonna be a thing. We'll do a whole episode. That's not bad at all. That's nice. What is it? Actually, hook into the carpet, too. Oh. There we go. Yep, it's the money. I'm looking for some money. All right, how about. All right. Look at that big old pad right underneath the driver's seat, or right underneath where your foot would go. That's freaking BA. I like that. The truck did not have that. You got it? Yeah. That son of a bitch can just go on the ground wherever. Yep. This fucking 
zig is heavy. That's why I'm not so worried about it falling over. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's happening. You need a table? You just fold the seat down. Bro, this thing's gonna be so fucking tits for this garage. In any garage from now on. Like, I've always liked the bench seats in the garages. Yeah. But they always tip over. Yeah, they never sit, right? This one doesn't tip over. Here's a real question. Will it tilt back any? I don't think it will. Like, will it recline? It would be awesome. No. Yeah, the back. Still the Cadillac embroidered emblem and the headrest and everything. And it's actually in really good shape. Yeah, that's really good. Going in. We Cadillac emblem right here. We need to do a Cadillac emblem with the come and see in the middle of it. Oh, that'd be sick. That would be, sick. that would be sick as fuck. There's some. I want to wrap this thing. I think that's the way to go with this truck. Clean it up, make it nice, wrap it. Oh, yeah. I want to bring the. I want to bring the wheels back. If we bring the wheels back to about here, that's plenty of room for us to put a gooseneck on or about where it needs to be and still be able to do gooseneck things with it. I think, I don't know if, if it's the thing, but we need to get smaller tires mm -hmm. in the back here. I was thinking that. Because in order to A, low, well, first of all, we need to lower it anyhow because look, we're, we're pointing downhill as it is. And the front needs to come down. Like we're body lifted right now. And the whole reason we sat it where we did, and I'm glad we did because it makes the fucking, the Alice or the, makes everything, the drivetrain fit in there really nice. But the only reason we put it up this high is so it matched with the body line. But if you look at this front wheel well, we are way too far up. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's like I said, it's running downhill. The whole truck is. So we can stay with a large tire up front, which I think will still look cool. But we need to go with a smaller setup in the back. So we can be. Because then that gives us more room to drop. Because right now we got eight inches of drop before we're on the tire. Yeah. And eight inches is not enough. Oh, yeah. We're, I'm going to have to cut all that off and redo it. All right. There's another Chevy wrap bed for sale. One that's actually that goes up at an angle. Yeah, he, he's got a bunch of shit. But I, I was looking at the mounting blocks to see how they actually, you know, if it was, and it's just two pieces of pipe, yeah. basically. I'm going to cut all of that off one day. I don't know when. And it'll end up, I'll end up bolting it together like it should have been done. You know, I'm just stoked. Yeah, see, this, we have to make this work again. Mm -hmm. Have to. That is a requirement. And I got a whole bunch of extra switches over there we can do wire up for things. <laughs> for the rear doors. You cut that rocker out and put you a tube with a step on it. Uh -huh. You could clean up that whole rocker and you wouldn't have to fix any of that. And then you could just. When you put your tube in there, you can just weld the panel right to the tube and get rid of all that rust and you wouldn't have to do it. It's not that rusty on this one. It's just a little bubbly. Well, that, that one's fucked. And if, you know, it sits up high enough, it could use a, a step. A step. Yeah. Even after you drop it, if you still have a step about right here. Well, the problem is, is these fenders are designed right here to have the, to have running, board. the running board. Yeah. That's why I was going to see about, I was going to pull those running boards off and see about shortening it. Because that would be cool. So, I guess this is going to be one video. So yeah, you saw us get it all out. It took all damn day. Um, note to self, take the seats out of something before you take the engine out if you're going to do that. Because it, it's a giant pain in the ass if you don't. But, uh, alright. We appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys hit us up and... Uh, 
the Facebook page and hit the like and subscribe and all that good crap. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.